Hi, I'm John from Chatamize and in this video I will show you how you can automatically reply when somebody messages you after seeing your Instagram story. Let's dive in. So the first thing we need to do is create our ManyChat account. And ManyChat is the chatbot builder I'm going to use for this tutorial. And it is one of the best chatbot builders out there. So just go to ManyChat and I added the link in the description. And then here we can click on get started for free. And what we then need to do is continue with our Facebook account. And then in a simple series of steps, you can create your ManyChat account for free. But I already have a ManyChat account, so just click on sign in and then click on sign in with Facebook. So once you're logged in to ManyChat, we need to connect our Instagram account to our ManyChat account. But before we can do that, we need to make sure that our Facebook page is connected to our Instagram account. So if you want to check this, just go to facebook.com, type in the name of your Facebook page. So in my case, it is Chatamize Test. Then go to your Facebook page and then scroll down, click on settings and then click on Instagram. And as you can see here, my Facebook page is connected to the Test Chatamize Instagram account. But if this is not the case, there should be a blue button here. And if you click that, you can connect your Facebook page to your Instagram account. So when your Facebook account is connected to Instagram, we can connect Instagram to ManyChat. And if you want to do that, just go to settings in ManyChat, select Instagram and click on connect. And then here you see all the Instagram pages you can connect to. So just click on Chatomize test. And that's it. Now we have connected ManyChat to our Instagram account. And then we can click on let's start. We will skip this for now. And we can start with automatically replying to Instagram story replies. So what we are going to do now is click on automation and then click on new flow. Then we will start from scratch here in the right bottom. And we will call this flow Instagram story replies. And what ManyChat automatically does is create a flow for us with a starting step and with a send message. And the starting step is what actually starts the flow. And in our case, this flow should start when somebody replies to one of our Instagram stories. So here we can click on add trigger. Then Instagram is already selected, but if that's not the case, you need to click on Instagram and then we can select the Instagram story reply. And we can reply to specific stories or we can reply to all stories. So when you set it to a specific story, then you can select the story here. So this will show all the stories that you currently have. I only have one, but for example, if I would have three stories, then there will be three stories here, but we are going to set this up for all our stories. And we want to reply when the message is ebook one, because in this tutorial, I will show you how we can give away an ebook through our Instagram stories. So what this will do is that every time a user sees your Instagram story and responds with ebook one, this many chat flow will automatically respond. So we can just hit save and now we're going to set the message we want to respond with. And since users are opting in for our ebook, we will first thank them. So we will add a text and then we will say, thank you for requesting the ebook. Click the button below to get it. And then we will add a quick reply. We will add a check. So this is a nice icon. And then we'll say, get the ebook. And when somebody clicks on this quick reply, we will send another message in which we're going to ask for the email of the user because we're not giving it away for free. We want to get the email 
And once we got the email of the user, we are giving away the ebook. So we are going to send another Instagram message and we will remove this message and we are going to use the user input. And the reason why we're going to use the user input is because we're going to ask for the email. And what this will do is that it automatically checks whether the user has filled in the right email, whether it's an email format or whether it's not a good email, and then it will ask for the email again. So basically it will validate whether someone fills in a email. So what we're going to say is, all right, to what email can I send the ebook? And then we're going to set the reply type to email. The only thing we need to do is we need to remove the skip button text, because if we don't remove that, people can skip this question and we don't want them to do this. So then we will add a next step in which we say, thank you, click on the button below to get your ebook. Then we can add a nice icon. So click on the button below to get your ebook. Then we're going to add a button with a nice icon, go, to ebook and this will actually open up a website. So you probably have your ebook stored on a Google Drive or maybe on your website itself. So then you can just select the open website and I will just put in my URL for now, but that should be working. So then we will click on done and then we need to click on publish and we need to go back and click on activate because if we don't activate it, it will all not work. So in essence, this is the complete flow. Thank you for requesting the ebook. Click the button below to get it. When they click on the button, then we'll ask, okay, all right, to what email can I send the ebook? And eventually we'll say, thank you. Click on the button below to get your ebook, which will lead them to your ebook. So let's test this out. So now I'm on my mobile phone. And I will go to test Chatamize. And here you have a story. So I will just reply with ebook one. And then if I go to my messages, you will automatically see thank you for requesting the ebook. Click the button below to get it. Get the ebook. All right, to what email can I send the ebook? So let's fill in something nonsense to show you that it also checks on the email please enter a correct email address okay so I just info at chatomize is a correct one and i say thank you click on the button below to get your ebook i will click on go to ebook and this will go in my case to my website but in your case to your ebook one question you might have is the difference between the Instagram keyword and the Instagram story reply. So if I go back to ManyChat, I go to my starting step. Here we have the Instagram story reply, but you also have the Instagram keyword. And what is the difference? And there's only a small difference between them. The Instagram keyword replies to specific keywords in general, regardless whether that keyword is sent from a story or not. An Instagram story reply only replies when somebody messages you after seeing your Instagram story. So they do not respond to keywords in general. So for example, when someone is going to your Instagram profile and clicks on the message button, the Instagram keyword will reply, but the Instagram story reply will not. So when should you use which one? If you want to reply to keywords in general, you should use the Instagram keyword. And if you only want to reply to replies of Instagram stories, then you should use the Instagram story reply. And that's it. That's how you automatically reply when somebody messages you after seeing your Instagram story. If you have any questions on how you can automate your Instagram DM, please leave a comment below and I will reply as soon as possible. If you want more videos on how you can use chatbots in your marketing, please subscribe to my channel. And if you haven't done this yet, also click the like button below.